Good morning, everyone. We are going to learn how to conduct a regular old ANOVA, an analysis of variance on JMP. Now, this is just going to be a simple one-way ANOVA, meaning we're just going to be looking at one level of groups. So we're just going to be looking at how mean ACT scores differ among regions, and we have six different regions. So this is called a one-way ANOVA. Sometimes you will see it as a univariate ANOVA, and then sometimes it won't even be called anything. It's just an ANOVA, like plain old vanilla ANOVA. Shouldn't that be like an ice cream flavor? So anyways, um, just keep that in mind as you read things. And ANOVA is always going to be reported with an F value, and that's gonna be mainly what we're looking for. So let's get started. Let's say that I want to know, again, differences in mean ACT scores among the different types of region. So my dependent variable is continuous, and my independent variable, I kind of want to see if there's an effect of region on mean ACT. This is going to be my independent variable, my factor. This is going to be region. First, I need to do um, my assumptions. So I'm going to assume that this is a random set of data. This is a random sample. I pull these out of a hat. I use some kind of random sampling system to choose these schools. Maybe it was stratified, but it, there was a random systematic approach to getting this data. I'm going to go to distribution and I'm going to look at my dependent variable, but I need to split it by my independent variable. And so I'll click OK. And I need to be looking at, this is going to show me, okay, in the central area, this is what my skewness was. Remember, I'm looking for skewness to be between negative one and one. And if it's not, then I need to look at kurtosis. Uh, and it looks like I am in really good shape here. Yes, 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 I am. So it looks like normal distributions are good. Now we are going to look for homogeneity of variance. And to do that, I will go to analyze fit y by x, my dependent variable, with mean ACT, my independent variable is region. I was going to go into the X factor. I hit OK. All right, this is going to show me kind of where the spread of scores are. Um, it kind of shows me like, okay, in the central, we've got a, a narrower range than in the northeast. But I'm going to go to unequal variances. And what I'm looking for is the Levine's test. Now this time, I want my p-value to be above a 0.05, and it is. Remember Adam Levine, when he sings that crazy song, and he's singing that, um, da -da 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 and he's putting his hands up in the air, because it's above a 0.05, okay? The Levine's test is above a 0.05 there. So looks like we're good with our homogeneity of variances. So I could actually leave this screen up and then click on this red arrow and then click on ANOVA right there. And what this does, it has these beautiful little triangles to show me about where those mean scores are. Um, and I'm sure that some the triangles have to do with some kind of range and scores. I, I don't know off the top of my head, but it, it shows me a nice spread of scores and it kind of gives me a visual to see if there are any differences. So what I'll need to look at, I need to look at my overall analysis of variance here. And this is going to show me my F ratio. Now do you remember doing some of this by hand and what this really means? This is the between group variance, which is basically the mean squares over the within group variance, the mean squares. Now in JMP, they are not calling it between groups. They're just going to give you the name of the group. And they're not calling it within group variance. They're calling it error. And remember in Hatcher, you read that within group variance is sometimes called error or the residuals. And so this F ratio is basically saying 
hey, are, is the between group variance, which, which remember, what's variance? is the average of the squared deviations from the mean. So remember, it's like it took the sum of squares, and then it took the average of that, the mean of that, but in the denominator is n minus 1, so sometimes this is called the mean square estimate. That's what's going on here. And it's created this, this F ratio that, hey, is there more difference between the groups than there is just within them? And so, yes, indeed, there is. This F ratio tells me that I should reject my null hypotheses. And there is a difference somewhere. And so now what I need to do, I need to do a post hoc analysis. So I'll go up here and I'll play around a little bit. Okay, there's the compare means. Now I can do a few different things and you can read in Hatcher maybe the best ones to choose. Um, if you kind of want to look at each pair separately, you could do, look at do a whole bunch of little t-tests. But if you want to look at all pairs together, you could do the Tukey's. Um, honest significant difference test and that's going to put it all together and it's sometimes it's conservative um, where you might make a type 2 error where you don't see a difference but there really was a difference but generally this is what um, this is usually a good choice and you can scroll down to see where in the world those differences are so this will show us that between the south and northeast there is a statistically significant difference. And between the Midwest and the Northeast, there is a difference in ACT scores. And then you need to report power. And so you just click power and you hit solve for power. And then you will see that the power is 0.96, which means that there is a 96% chance that we are correct in rejecting the null hypothesis. That's what that power means, and that is based on the sample size and how the data is spread, um, the number of people in each group or the number of schools in each category. And so the power means that this was a pretty good substantial test, and I can have confidence in rejecting my null hypothesis. So that is how you do a one-way, plain old vanilla ANOVA. I will see you next time.